Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Ancient Viking Shipyard On the Swedish island of Björko, archaeologists have come across an exciting Viking shipyard, which is revealing secrets about how the Vikings were able to build such incredible boats and travel such long distances. They made the discovery while excavating Birka, which is commonly referenced as the very first town ever established in Sweden. It was built during the middle of the 8th century on the shores of Lake Malarin, which grew to become a major trading hub. Over the years, it turned into a densely populated city. It was filled with merchants and travelers from all over, moving across Europe and into the lands beyond. The excavation was conducted by scientists with Stockholm University. They uncovered strange depressions in the ground lined with stone, and then discovered a wooden boat hiding at the very bottom. They also found boat rivets, whetstones, woodworking tools, and other artifacts to suggest this was a shipyard, a place where boats were actually built to take Viking warriors on their raids across Europe. The biggest reason this is so exciting is that according to Professor Sven Isaacson, a site like this has never been found before. It's the first shipyard ever uncovered, a truly remarkable find in the world of Viking history. Viking ships had a huge advantage over other ships from their time period thanks to their speed, weight, and ability to withstand fierce ocean storms. Technological advancements in cities like Birka helped scale the production of these ships and led to the golden age of the Viking era. Number 9. King Bluetooth Satellite images have revealed that the great Viking king, Harald Bluetooth, could very well be buried in a small Polish village. He was real, and now we know where he was buried. Harald Bluetooth was the inspiration behind the name for wireless Bluetooth technology. He actually got the name because he had a tooth so dead it had turned dark blue. He was also a merciless warlord and the king of Denmark and Norway in the 10th century. However, his burial site has been lost for 1,000 years, and nobody has ever been able to find it until possibly now. Satellite remote sensing tools have revealed a massive burial mound in the small Polish village of Wiewkowko. The burial mound appears to come from the 10th century, and it's big enough that it probably belonged to someone of extreme importance. We know Harold Bluetooth was likely buried in the area. But the only issue is that researchers don't exactly have a way to positively identify his remains. It's not like they have his fingerprints or DNA on record or anything. Another piece of evidence came nearly a decade ago in 2014. A gold disc was discovered in the area inscribed with a mention of a great Viking king, found just three miles from the burial mound. These two things put together seem to suggest that Harold Bluetooth has been here the entire time. Sadly, researchers haven't been able to actually excavate the burial mound to see if the king's body is still in there. Number 8. Two Pieces of the Sword An amateur treasure hunter in Norway discovered a small piece of metal that appeared to be mostly worthless. He made the discovery on a farm on the western coast of Norway, and nobody really knew what the thing was. A year later, a totally different amateur archaeologist a treasure hunter who happens to be a friend of the first one discovered something else. They found the hilt of a large Viking sword, and as it turned out, the sword and the random piece of metal were part of the same artifact. Finally, the two pieces were reunited after spending 1,200 years apart, thanks to friendship. The sword is called a D-sword, according to Anzanette Glorsad from the University of Oslo. She explained that it was one of the most skillfully ornamented and heaviest swords ever used by the Vikings. The small metal piece matched up perfectly with the hilt, creating one solid artifact. The blade is gone now, lost somewhere else, but researchers were still able to identify the relic. Even more fascinating is that this sword is one of about 20 similar artifacts that have been discovered in Norway. Researchers believe these swords were probably imported and may have actually been forged in England or Francia and then taken with the Vikings to their home in Norway. Number 7. Mysterious Viking Cave Excavations carried out by the Archaeological Institute of Iceland have turned up something strange near the tiny Icelandic village of Odi. From the 10th to the 11th centuries, Odi was a major city. It was the seat of power of the great Oraverjar clan during the period of the medieval Icelandic Commonwealth. One of the most famous members of the clan was Simundur the Learned, or the Learned, 
who wrote some of the earliest recorded histories of the kings of Norway. The small settlement became a major cultural center, not just an ordinary Viking trading hub. In 2018, some man-made caves were discovered here. The discovery sparked two years of study, and researchers have discovered a much larger cave which connects to an even bigger cave system. Researchers believe it was probably a stall used for holding cattle or horses. It seemed like it may have been something exciting, like a mysterious shrine, or some kind of dark cave where Vikings performed ancient rituals. But nope, this part was a man-made cave where the Vikings kept their livestock. Even though the cave may have had a simple explanation, it was mentioned in something called the Legends of Saints, written between 1210 and 1250. One of the legends described a man-made cave which collapsed while there were 12 bulls inside, and only one animal was miraculously rescued from the destruction. Archaeologists don't know if this cave is the one from legend, but it definitely could be. And now for number six, but first, it's shout out time. I want to say a big thank you to Barbara Sorgdragger and Tri School for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about recent discoveries. Number six, Viking coins. An amateur treasure hunter with a metal detector came across a cache of silver coins and jewelry in southwest Finland. According to a report from the Finnish Heritage Agency, the coins once belonged to Vikings in the 10th century. The coins actually go back to the days of the great Harold Bluetooth. Twelve of them were found to be minted by the Viking king himself, which historians found amazing since so few of these coins have been found in Finland. Oskari Heikila, the amateur treasure hunter who discovered the coins, said the treasure was literally shaking in his hands. He understood the significance of what he had found and was in shock. He immediately stopped digging, left everything else exactly where it was, and reported the discovery to the authorities. The following week, professional archaeologists came to do trial excavations. We now know that the coins had probably been inside a leather bag. The archaeologists also found pieces of pottery from the Iron Age, suggesting someone may have actually lived here. This could have been a person's house, but it's hard to say. All we know is that somebody lost or buried a leather satchel full of coins a thousand years ago, but never came back. Number 5. The Gelestad Viking Ship In 2018, the Gelestad Viking Ship burial site was discovered in the eastern part of Norway. In the last few years, researchers have been rushing to get out everything they possibly can before time and the elements ruined the site. The excavations of the burial site have been a huge success. Researchers have discovered wooden fragments from the ship that was buried in the ground for 1,000 years, horse teeth, and even one giant amber bead. The bead has a huge hole in it, which was probably used for a chain to pass through and may have been attached to the sheath of a great warrior sword. The researchers believe it was put in the burial ship to help protect the dead from the dangers of the afterlife. Just north from where the ship was buried, archaeologists have also uncovered a collection of ancient longhouses, suggesting a large settlement had once been here. In total, this Viking ship burial has produced 8,000 pieces of iron and copper. Most of it is scraps building materials from the ship and rusty iron nails. One of the biggest mysteries is the identity of the person buried in the boat. They were undoubtedly a Viking elite, but we don't know if it was a ruler or a fearsome fighter. Two Viking axes were found at the site, one of them positively enormous, so the person buried here was probably huge. Sadly though, much of the good stuff had already been stolen by grave robbers before researchers got to the ship in 2018. The ship and the surrounding soil is in chunks at a university, slowly getting taken apart in the lab, and researchers are still holding out that there might be some surprises. Number 4. Viking Skeletons In an incredible scientific discovery, Viking skeletons found in different countries have turned out to be related. One skeleton was discovered in central Denmark and the other in England. Both skeletons belong to men who died about 1,000 years ago. Genetic testing done by Copenhagen University geneticist Eski Villerslev has proven that these two men, who died in different countries a millennium ago, were probably half-brothers. And now, all these centuries later, the brothers have been reunited at the Oxfordshire Museum, 
where they lie in glass display cases, their empty eye sockets staring at one another. But how in the world did these two brothers end up so far apart when they died? Researchers say that Danish Vikings reached both Scotland and England in the 8th century. This was when they showed up as raiders, pillaging coastal villages, and some even settling in woodland areas and small communities. It was during these voyages when the Vikings sailed all the way to North America. In 2008, one of these skeletons was found in Oxford in a mass grave with 35 other Viking settlers. All these men had been killed, probably on the orders of the great medieval king of England, Ethelred. The other man died on the small Danish island of Funen and had lived into his 50s. Arthritis and rib inflammation on the skeleton showed that he had probably lived a hard life as a farmer. So back to the original question. It looks like the two brothers may have been fathered by different men, and for whatever reason, ended up taking two vastly different paths in life. One ended up raiding England and was killed for it, and the other lived a long life as a farmer and died in his homeland. Number 3. Viking Women on the Isle of Man A pair of ancient brooches, each one over 1,000 years old, have been discovered on the Isle of Man. They've made a pretty big splash in local historic circles, because up until now, nobody thought there had been any women Vikings on the island. It was assumed that around the year 800, Viking men settled on the island but never brought any women with them. They used the place as a kind of outpost between Britain and Ireland. Now, with the discovery of these brooches, historians believe they belonged to women, and so they need to reassess how they view the Isle of Man's Viking history. It's clear that Scandinavian women definitely lived here, or at least visited the place, since they haven't been found in any graves. It's just not clear how big of a settlement we're dealing with, or just exactly how many women may have lived on the island. Number 2. Mysterious Crystal Jar The Galloway Hoard, discovered by a man with a metal detector in 2014, is one of the biggest Viking hoards ever discovered in Scotland. It consists of over 100 pieces of gold, silver, glass, crystal, and stone. There is jewelry, treasure, and the most mixed collection of trinkets from the Viking Age ever found. There was one artifact specifically that gained a lot of attention from researchers. It's a jar made of rock crystal covered in wrappings of gold. It's an amazing artifact that dates back far before the Viking Horde was actually buried. According to researchers, it was probably a gift from the Roman Empire given to the Anglo-Saxon Kingdom in Britain, far before the Vikings ever showed up. The jar isn't very big, but it shows some of the best gold work that's ever been found dating from over 1,000 years ago. The jar was probably used to hold perfume or liquid, something of immense value, and it was almost definitely made prior to the Galloway Hoard in the year 900. An inscription on the bottom reads, Bishop Highgald had me made. In simple terms, it was made by the Romans, given as a gift to the Anglo-Saxons, and then later stolen by the Vikings and buried in a treasure hoard. Number 1. Elite Boat Burial An elite burial boat has been found hidden 30 feet under solid ground in Norway. It was only discovered thanks to researchers using ground-penetrating radar. They identified a boat about 30 feet long and 5 feet wide, big enough to carry six Vikings on a raid. As of right now, the boat appears to have been used in the burial of a high-ranking Viking. That means that there is a tomb under the ground here, which researchers will have to dig down to investigate. They only have the shape of the boat now on the radar, but can clearly see it's big enough that only someone of major importance would have been buried inside. Unfortunately, nobody knows anything about the person buried in the boat. That being said, other Viking boat burials have been identified in the area, and this one seems to be the biggest. The other ones were all reserved for extremely important people, so this means this individual was probably the most important. The thing about boat burials is that they were expensive. Imagine being buried in a brand new convertible. That was the kind of extravagance that being buried in the boat was to the Vikings. This is why only the top brass had such luxurious graves, otherwise there would be boats hidden across half of Europe. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time for another video on ancient history. Bye!